Here's my new boat hook. I had to purchase a new one because, as you can see, the old one broke off the wood handle and it's sitting in the bottom of, uh, of the harbor in Block Island. So we'll uh, cut a new end to uh, receive the new hook. So at the table saw, I'm going to line up the angle with the blade and if you see this square piece of wood comes right in to get the right angle and hopefully I'll be able to just spin right here the pole and slowly whittle down a point. So after a couple of minor adjustments and trial fits, I just spun that around and came up with, with that, which is pretty darn close. It's going to take a little bit of filing and round this off a little bit more because the pole is actually thicker than the base of the hook. So what I'm doing now is I'm trying it and by putting it on and spinning it turning it like this around the pole you can see the brass is making dark spots and I'm just sanding them down a little bit just to get it to be a perfect fit so it's going to take a little bit of hand work but each time because of the taper it goes on pretty good so I have it to where it's pretty darn close and a little more sanding and it'll go right in. So by repeatedly putting it on and twisting it, wherever you would see these little black marks here, I would sand them down and, uh, and just whittled it down until I got just about a perfect fit right up against here where I put a little bit of a kerf with the saw. Just spun it around on the saw and it made that square kerf. Then I just sanded this down just a little bit just to make it smooth transition there so a line can't get caught on it. The next step is to totally strip down the handle, the old varnish. I'll probably use my heat gun and a scraper, a little bit of sanding, and then I'm going to take epoxy and I'm going to epoxy the head on and then there's two screw holes, one here and here. I'll put brass screws in there uh, and wipe off the excess epoxy. And then I'm actually going to epoxy coat the entire pole. Uh, probably put two or three coats of epoxy and then four coats of varnish over top. And uh, should be a pretty uh, good pole. The pole all together, well, it was about... 78 inches it's about four inches shorter now because I had to cut a new end on um, but it sure looks pretty on ombre rose